Okay, and I have the radios. Should we need to uh, adjust them? Okay. Uh, this one here. Okay. Uh, the drill is we we've, we've had an explosive decompression, or worse, or worse yet, I guess, is we have smoke in the cabin and we need to evacuate the smoke. So let's say we got an AV-1 fan fail. It would appear right here, it's a white enunciator. There's really nothing to do about that. But along with that, you get the smell of smoke. Uh, go ahead and pump the cabin. So we get the red dump. The cabin climbs. And it gets chilly in here. Knowledge unit. Yep. Knowledge the red light. We immediately get emergency. Um, the, the bleed air goes to emergency automatically when we're above 12. And I. <coughs> Was hoping it would because it's 12 350. So that's that. But so now we're going to need some oxygen because your uh, hemoglobin is going down. It's down around 90 uh, in the prime of health. Uh, there's nothing else to do about that. Uh, I, I want to seal this back up. We'll finish the drill, but I want to seal the cabin back up and push that back in. And I want to get us down to uh, off the EMR bleed air so it uh, it quiets down. And this is administrative only. You climb maintain flight level 210. All right, 210, so 60, 59. 4900, contact the Washington Center on 121.67. So now, since the bleed air is adiabatically heated, you can feel it warm, warming back up in here. So once we get just a little bit lower, the Emer bleed will go away. Bar three two five zero Tango, can you start your climb now? No, I'm not quite yet for five zero Tango. Trouble 1659, contact Washington Center, 121.67. Okay, so if you had a depressurization, the first thing you would do is reach around and bring out the mask. You're below 90. I'm going to pull the mask out for you. It just pulls right out here. There we go. Now I'm going to advise you to just put this on your face and take about three deep breaths through your nose. I wouldn't even move the mic, but go ahead. Yep. If a dozen eggs is 60 cents, how much is three eggs? Can't hear you. American 834, you can expect to turn about one five miles passing traffic. American 834. So how much is three eggs? I need the question again. If a dozen eggs is 60 cents, how much is three eggs? A dozen eggs is 60 cents. Yeah. You, you need to keep 17, breathing the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'll take the altitude of 144. There you go. Is right. Thank you. Now you know the answer. All right, but you see what O2 does for your PPO2 there. Partial pressure of oxygen. This is actually measuring uh, hemoglobin bonding, but it's a, akin to partial pressure, which is what we're really trying to do. And it's just that easy. This mask has a couple of features. It has an Emer valve here that you can cause oxygen to flow freely, which will overpressurize the mask when you have it on. It's a one-handed quick dock, so you press the red levers together, and this opens up like so, so you can put it over your head in one fell swoop. But the best thing to do, rather than take off your headset and your glasses and everything, is just press it to your face and breathe.
You also have a vent here. This should be closed, of course. That's for getting condensate out from under a face mask. And then you have a 100% feature here. You should default by default keep it in the 100%. That will obviate any smoke. If you leave it in the less than 100% mode, you'll have makeup air coming through the vents here. And if you had smoke in the cabin, that would not be desirable. That's all there is to that. Any questions? No questions. Okay. So we're down to uh, 10,000. 10,000. Cabin is still descending. And the differential pressure is, is coming up. So if we wanted to come up faster, we could turn ECS select to high. And that's also a strategy for warming up the cabin faster because it doubles the volume of bleed air coming in. And then if you turn the rotary switch to 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock position, that will give you maximum heat. American 834. All right, very good. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.